Center for Innovation and Technology is offering you a golden opportunity to speak directly to your market at an affordable price. We also offer media training workshops, live streaming, documentary production, and events management. Get in touch with us today on the following numbers. Plus 263-867-711-0290 or 0718-100-235. Don't forget to subscribe to our social media platforms. Like our Facebook page, Center for Innovation and Technology. Follow us on Twitter at SiteZW. And you can also check out our website, www.site.org.zw. That I, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a soldier. When I mean to say today I'm remembering to be a soldier, I wear these things. Mm -hmm. On Independence Day, I was wearing them over just a certain village is over the tab. I, April 64, I was now in Zambia with the, the lot of Otumiso, Ethan Tube, and the lot leaders who were there, Jason Moyo, Silundiga, Etwati, Chikirema, Nyanduru. By 64 April, I was already in training. We did six months training. Mm. By September 64, I was already trained. Now there was a question, who was going to bail the cat? This man called Mr. Uh, he, he, he was the chief magistrate of, of Bloor, Francis Farewell Roberts. He was the chief magistrate who used to order, take out a, a detention orders. He is the man who signed it there. So he was the target now mm. for the nationalist in Zambia to be dealt with. So his farm was the first farm to be attacked by September, I think it's 14, if not 22, was attacked. I was among the people, I was commanding the people, mm. the Tubi Ranch. Okay. After the Tubi Ranch, there were many activities which were done. Some, I had to say, go back to Zambia. I remained in the country. But unfortunately, they arrested me last Trust must be kept aside. Ah, then the plan was very good to hash. Because we're now free, we could talk by ourselves. Say, you kick me. This thing is not strong. Let us break it. Say, how? I say, how? I was a builder, man. I'm looking at this. This is not very strong. we blood. Now, how are we going to do it? I said, no, there is a man here called Joseph Ashesa here. The father of Ezekiel says, was a, he was a guard by then, said, I will talk to him. So I spoke to him, he is from my home. Mm. Said, we, want, we want weapons here, or money, even tools to break this. He said, can you do it? He'll put me into trouble. He said, no. He said, we will send you to people who are very clever. He said, where? He said, Taffy Moyo is one of them. You go to Taffy and explain that we want such, such things, scissors, all these things, cutting in the little one to cut in even wires and so on. Will you be able, you be able to, to run away, to escape? I said, ah, oh, very easy. There is no, there is no cutting here. So, uh, he planned 
One day when he came, he said, ah, I have brought those things you wanted. He said, let us put them in the system. What they could only do to manage to reach the, 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 the top of the ceiling is to, somebody must stand on me here. So they had to hold me. While the word is working. <laughs> A very hard job. Until ah, a hole was opened, a very big one. Then we waited, we waited for the card to pass. He passed and we knew exactly now he has taken the call. We all, we said, no, not just one, go, go down, take cover and look. We all went, uh, nobody, anybody had, no. We ran in front of the superintendent <laughs> <laughs> and out of his gate. We met a man who was with a woman pushing a bicycle. He said, no, please. I have seen, I won't report anything. Please, please. He pleaded with us that he won't talk. So we ran. We went to Eveline. The car was no more there. With the prison clothes, we ran. The, eh. the rope top and the white uh, shop. <laughs> now we're crossing town like that. Are we near the house now? The Tene Nguenya. Gwenya was so terrified. He, 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 he nearly died. <laughs> he could not expect us to see people running away from prison. He prison he closed. He took his car. He knew the fellows were to pick us by car. He went straight to the house. He found them sleeping together. That, because they had failed up to 12 o'clock to get, get us. He said, you are here. The people are in my house. And there is now daylight. About 5 o'clock. Uh -huh. But still, you have to take them away from Bulwar. We have to go to Follows. Change the route to Botswana now, again. So, we drove in high speed that if there was an accident, nobody must survive. We must all die. That was the, was the answer to it. And we crossed it to Botswana. A Bedford truck came from behind, from Ramakwebana. It was flying. Flying. I had to tell this one, hey, hey, gentlemen. Hey, my daughter. Mama Tirila. Mama Tirila. I said, this, poli this is for policemen. So that these people could not know what I meant. They, this way, they started looking at it. The other two were looking back. We, uh, now, to the people who were not educated, to get, in the, in the system of gorillas could not even have made it wisely. When this driver now saw that truck coming from the mirror, I think, since he knew what was happening, he, he slowed the car. This coming fast too, slowed the car. Until it wanted, I was in the back seat. I saw a gun. Oh. The man holding a gun. I did not ask. I jumped at 40. It was 40, I jumped out of the truck. They saw me flying out, these fellows, they also followed. There was a fire shot. <laughs> yeah, they fired the shot. <laughs> then started the stampede there. We had to run for our lives. Run for what? We are full. The other one I think was captured as far as that gate. That was King Kala, um. who was arrested first. Second, the arrest was King Kala. Kala, Elliot Ngwabi, man. Ngwabi and King Kala were followed. Clark made it, made it hard to capture. He, made, he fought for his life to run. But they captured him, I think, about five or six kilometers away. Uh, they could not follow me because I was, a, I was, a, I was an impala. <laughs> I was an impala. You could not, here, you could not stomach it. Ah, yeah. uh, on running. Then I'm now in Zambia. Okay. Very luck again. I had to get the assistance of to go to Lusaka. That night I slept at Lusaka. To win for the for the African people, we wanted the equality. You people we feel we are against you guys. We are not against you guys ourselves. The, 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 the attitude they put themselves towards an African was wrong. They felt every African did not, under, did not reason, probably, I think so. But 
That wa that's why we had to fight. If we had sat down and spoken amicable, we wouldn't have made even a little noise. The main point which made me very much like politics is the tipping tank, mm -hmm. a situation in the tipping tanks. Okay. Uh, we used to call the veterinary men doctors. We didn't know about, much about the, about the veterinary officers. Mm. They would say they want to inspect the cattle. From, from far, five o'clock would be in the tipping tank. Gathered with your cattle, the young ones running to, from here, they, they would come at two o'clock, the veterinary people. Mm. So that made me very much against that. Yeah, very yeah, rude, yeah. those people. And yeah. they could use even a shambok on you. Yes. I'm very true about it. Ah. They find a man is looking, these are cattle, I'm looking this way. He comes behind, he, he uses a shambok on me. They used to do it. It went from Dar es Salaam to Addis Ababa to Cairo, now in Algeria. People were flocking in from all directions going to, to, to train. I went to Algeria with this group. Being trained already, you know, I remember, but only to what? To be their commander there. With the men who knew Portuguese and English, okay. and the other one who knew Portuguese and French. French is almost simpler to understand if a person speaks correctly. So these people used to lecture to us at times. So I, was, I would also try and give them information that I was inside, but I never fought like you people. You fought more. When we came from Algeria, the 20 of us, when we dropped at, 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 at Dar es Salaam, there was a, low, a bus waiting to transfer us to Congo, Congo, straight to Congo, about three kilometers in length. There was a camp like that. On the east was the ANC. Second, Zap. Third, Frelim, fourth, Swap, fifth, Empile on the hmm. on the west. We were friends with all the camps. Okay. Almost every fighter knew his fate. That to, to hate another one another would be was useless. Every foot was going to the front. We knew exactly that the, fighting the Portuguese is like fighting the South Africans or the Rhodesians. So the two lorries came. And the parade was called for, from on our side, not on the ANC side. The ANC side, they had already done it, we didn't know. Mm. They had taken people towards, to Lusaka. Mm. So Zab also came and took people to Lusaka. That's when we started to have an idea that something was being done between us and the ANC, but not being explained mm. to Rumali. Mm. The ANC had to bring its own men now on, on, to, to us. 38, 38 or so, something like that. So we're a very big number now. When we're still there, I was told to go and look for a camp. The, 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 the people, the Cubans were coming. People who were trained in Cuba were coming. I went to look for a, for a camp. It was found that the, the Cubans, had left these people free. Like the people trained in the Soviet Union, their life and the people trained in the, by the Arabs were not the same. The Arabs are disciplined <laughs> disciplinaries. Yeah, the, uh, the Algerians do not play. When you, when you go for training, you go for training. Not to, to, to talk. So they, when they arrived into the camp, the camp would sleep with nobody. People have gone to for fear. There was already word that these people are not disciplined. They need discipline. Mm. If you are to go inside with them, you must be disciplined. Either you perish all of you because of them. So we started to train them again, retrain them. The many disadvantages ourselves. That's what made us fail to succeed in many operations. 
that the mark was there that the fighting is on. That's what, that's what matters. I don't want to talk about politics because I become angry when I talk about politics. I want to talk things, as you have been asking me, cattle, people, history, all this I'm interested. But if you come to politics, I become angry because people have been let down greatly. I feel very sorry for most of the comrades because the government is not looking towards them. They are very poor, very, 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 very poor. In my table, there's a wall. There is no producer satisfied about this independence. I think that's the shortest answer I can give you. In my table, there is no independence. We are suffering. I don't want to be a politician. I have overgrown politics. What I want is to be fed now of our fruits we, we, we wait for. That's all. Then politicians come from the younger groups. They take the politics the way they feel their lives will be safe. But the best life cannot safeguard these young chaps anymore. I safeguarded them when I fought. But now, let them safeguard themselves in politics. I don't want to be a politician. I want to be an old man, but what I fought for, I never gained.